A Metro East airport has reopened tonight after closing for roughly three hours this afternoon for a simulated crash of an airliner. It is part of training required by the FAA. Five on your side's Holden Kerwicki joins us live outside Mid America, St. Louis Airport in Mascouda with the latest on today's training. Holden. Well, Mike, I'm sure a lot of people driving by Mid America today were curious why all those flashing lights were out on the runway. No, there was not an actual air disaster out here, but airport officials want local first responders prepared for the worst case scenario, and it's actually more common than you might think. Every year, more than 150,000 people fly out of Mid America St. Louis Airport in Mascouda, but Tuesday afternoon, all air traffic was brought to a stop. We need to prove uh, to the FAA we have the ability to handle an air carrier emergency, specifically an aircraft accident. In order to meet FAA requirements, first responders practice responding to what's known as a hard landing. Bird strikes uh, occur a lot, and that's really what the precursor is to drive this uh, emergency is bird strikes. Takes out an aircraft engine, and then they have to come back around for an emergency return. Since crashing an airplane on the runway isn't a real option, first responders turn to Scott Air Force Base for help. You know, we have an aircraft, luckily, from the 126 Air Refueling Wing, so we have a target for us to set up around and provide uh, fire suppression. Uh, and then we're also using some, some items to simulate a fuselage so that we have emergency responders extricating uh, our passengers. By activating the air carrier emergency plan, Mid-America Airport Director Darren James says he's looking at more than how they simply fight fire. Is we need to make sure we have effective communication. So we want to make sure the right information gets to the right people at the right time. As airport officials review the training results, James says he's hopeful it's information they never need to use. Obviously, we never want something like this to happen at the, at the airport, but we need to be ready in case it does. Now, if you are traveling out of Mid-America Airport anytime soon, the good news here is the airport is reopened after that training wrapped up, and it will be three years before we see another training like this in our area again. Reporting live at Mid-America Airport, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side.